Okay, let's install the header orange pi to our orange pi. Okay, what do you need? You'll need the header orange pi image. Okay, the software. You're gonna go to the orange314.com slash header orange pi. Scroll down the page to release this history. Go to header orange pi. 2.0 from July 1st. Click over here. Click on the one that you have. Download it. Okay. And then you will need the SD formatter for Windows. And you will need the Win32 Disk Imager. With your micro SD card on your computer, open the SD formatter. The only thing you, you gotta change is here, format size adjustment. Click on, OK, and format. Then you go to Win32 Disk Imager, OK, and go after the image you downloaded, OK? You unzip that to a folder, it's a raw file, R-A-W, OK? So you're gonna change here to all files and the image will be here. Open and write. Now we go to desktop. Make sure you have your mouse and pen drive with the rooms connected to your Orange Pi. Open the pen drive. Okay, and then you go to RetroPi folder. Select the rooms folder. And then you just copy from your pen drive to the folder of the RetroPy. And 
there you go. Now let's get back to emulation station by clicking this icon. The emulator is not here yet. You see? You need to restart the emulation station. After the reboot, let's look for. And here is my final burn emulator. The rooms I copied to my RetroPy, the Capcom games. Uh, just start the game and enjoy your little console, retro console. Okay, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, I will try to answer as fast as possible. Thank you.